Well, hello everyone. Here to show you right here. I talk about for sisters, uh, sophomore, and freshman right here. And uh, you know, you see right here talking about right here of uh, knowing about whenever it comes to uh, your know, sisters talking. Let's just say that if we're talking about that, uh, you know, anybody who uh, you know talks about uh, you know certain things such as is toward the yeah, you know, uh, knowing about uh, whenever it comes to grade levels, especially. Whenever it comes to scores and whenever it comes to grade levels and maybe that, you know, you are best known as what you call your know, champion for that reason. You know, maybe because if you like, yeah, the, the teacher likes you, uh, you know, likes you in class. Just be I'm like, yeah, nicknames, especially nicknames. <laughs> uh, how many sisters are going to maybe say is toward you, know, you nickname somebody something, you know, just because of, you know, that you, you were known because, you know, that person, you know, that person, you know, you were, you were known best just because of, uh, of uh, you know, for, you know, yeah, for what you do and also, so yeah, that's whenever nicknames come around, but really, the half the time you went out too, that, um, you know, what does that usually mean whenever somebody considers himself a freshman you know, or a sophomore, and, uh, you know, freshman, sophomore, and so it's like, yeah, you know, at the time, most of us would say is to where if you were to look at a grade report in 102, that if you uh, were to be, uh, you know, I'm like, yeah, if there was a time to where that, you know, maybe if you were, you know, done, not doing so well during a quarter of a year or something like that, or maybe during a, the first or second semester of, of the school year in your 102, that, uh, you know, yeah, you have a nickname and that, uh, you know, uh, you know, yeah, students will give you a nickname, classmates will give you a nickname. But a lot of times it's like, yeah, if we're talking about, um, you know, back whenever you were in your 30s and even in your 40s, that um, you're probably thinking too, that yeah, well, you know, freshman and sophomore, you know, really, have, have I had the time you went 02, that if we could uh, maybe figure out you know, a little bit about, you know, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and you went 02 is toward uh, how come there are certain apps uh that you can install on your phone that don't one of them is not called you know the, the freshman cutie or something like that that freshman uh, you know version 4.1 or something like that so so yeah you have these different versions of these different programs here and you know, these different software programs and your know, reader's edition of the of the template booklet or something like that and um so at the time it sure seems that way that uh, if you're going to consider yourself a student or just a beginner learner or somebody like that and like anybody say that you know yeah you know the state of union address and you're probably thinking it's like you know yeah the vice president or probably thinking it's toward yeah you know whenever you were a, a freshman a young freshman in college or it could also uh, be as toward if you were to be uh, maybe joining any source of a social group or maybe academy or some source of activity like that and a 102 talk about for freshmen Freshman and sophomore. So it's like, yeah, you know, talking about the oldest right here. So a lot of times it sure seems that way. That does that mean that students are kind of divided to where you have the freshmen and then you had the sophomores and then you had the juniors and then the seniors, right? So a lot of times it's like a lot of schools would probably say that that's how that they divide, you know, the, the students to where I'm like, yeah, that, uh, you know, certain grade levels, certain students that are in certain grade levels, and uh, so it's like uh, almost all the time that, um, you know, back whenever you were growing up, that lot's like, yeah, you have an older brother, or you got a cousin, or you got a friend of yours that's in the same classroom as you are, or if anything, that yeah, that you start talking about, you know, some of the stuff, you know, some of the subjects, you know, stuff that they're, that they're good at, and, and maybe a few things that they find very challenging and all that, so it's like, yeah, that, uh, so if we're talking about a job here that uh, you know, you might think is toward it, you want to go ahead and say is toward it, yeah, you know, you're going to be working a job, but if you were to call that level of the job to where that if it's going to be advanced um, trainee or I'm like, yeah, if you're going to be um, working a job and let's just say that you give this this job a, a, a company name and let's just say that you, know, you call it maybe the sophomore you know, usher or something like that, or maybe uh, a waitress or something like that, advance a pro way, I'm like, oh yeah, waitress or something like that, so so if you're going to be uh, working a job, that you go ahead and rate this uh, skill as to whether you consider yourself a sophomore, and so it's like, you know, people may want to know too, as to where if you were to look at a scale between one and five, 
that, that you know, so far as uh, super intelligence, you know, compared to your test scores and maybe compared to your GPA average and everything. But let's just say that um, from all the hard work that you put into something, you want to know too is to word of why do you give yourself a C minus and consider yourself a sophomore where you could also be a junior. Junior means is to where if you completed at least uh, three or more years of a community college, and uh, you want to know too is that you know why do you why do you put yourself at that point of a level? And uh, like everybody else might even say too, that if you decide to wait, you know, a few more, you know, you decide to wait, you know, three quarters. Because you want to be in the classroom with a friend of yours, or you want to be, uh, I'm like, yeah, like all, all the other students might even say too that, um, you know, they choose not to graduate right away because of that reason. You know, other the counselors or anybody there at the school might even say that that you know you want to be on like you want to work as a team, or you were I'm like, yeah, if you were classmates with somebody, and and let's just say that if you're going to have a, a cousin or somebody. Who are you going to be close to, or if anything, you're going to be working with them. And what I know is toward a, yeah, you know, whenever you first met, that, that, you know, you were considered a freshman and the other person was considered a sophomore. And uh, so it's like, yeah, you know, why would anybody really want to start that way? And especially if we're talking about maybe for a license, you know, with the license to work in a certain area, you know, there in the office, and you want to know too. That uh, if there is anything such as what you call if it's a class A or a class E license or something like that, and you want to know too is toward that uh, that why do you put yourself? I'm like you know yeah why do you consider yourself a medium level experienced learner whenever you could possibly have a lot more knowledge than what you think it is. So a lot of times it's like you know uh, some students might even say if they're even having a transfer or if anything. That, that they're going to set, talk about the story to where they consider themselves a sophomore just because that a lot of the questions that were on the application apply to a lot of those professionals who have at least 10 years of experience. So that would consider themselves either a junior or a senior, but if they have at least 10 years of experience or maybe up to 20 years of experience. So let's just say if you only have two or maybe three years of experience, and that that might put you on like what you call the bottom level to where that you know, you were not qualified for a lot of that stuff or like scholarships or opportunities about but still that uh, so in case of anybody that were to want to ask that question to where they had talk about for community college and also any source of college though that uh, you know yeah if you're going to be looking at that uh, your class photos and at one o two is to where that um that you put uh, you consider yourself that low on a grade level just because that, uh, you know, yeah, that, uh, you know, uh, because of uh, uh, the complications, number one, but then also that uh, if you fulfill the requirements for the most part. So let's just say that, that there's any test scores that are updated and everything, and like the teachers will probably say too that, uh, you know, uh, on your grade, you know, on, on the GPA score that you maybe put is to where you were a C student, you know, like you were a senior student there for a while, but then according to what the paperwork said, is that no, you were a B student or you're an A minus student. And like everybody else might even say, that A minus, of course, you know, that's that's a good grade average. And everybody else might even say that, yeah, well, you know, A minus, that don't sound so great, even though if I worked hard. You know, I worked hard, but you know, A minus, is that supposed to be, uh, you know, good or if that's supposed to be like your average? But like everybody else might even say that, you know, most everything we work hard for, that uh, we're going to maybe see that is, is toward an A minus. You know, A minus, well, you know, that's still passing, but like everybody else will probably say to you, you, you want to go ahead and, and you know, yeah, you want to go ahead and pursue, I'm like, yeah, yeah you want to go ahead and work towards the best scores. So all the hard work that you put into something, and like anybody else will probably say, if you're going to have an older sister, who could maybe explain just a little bit. I'm like, yeah, you have an older sister that's going to maybe say that, uh, you know, yeah, well, if you didn't get an A+, plus, you know, you got an A-, minus or you got a B+, plus, you know, just because that you missed it, you got a few of the questions on the on the quiz wrong or anything like that. But um, but still, that, uh, that looking at some of those photos, and it we're likely 102 that, uh, that, you know, if you were to start working on 
your education at some point, let's just say if it's at a college level, a community college, or maybe if you do uh, maybe wind up uh, taking a program, like if it's uh, maybe a voc rehab or if it's uh, any other sorts of a training program, and uh, people might ask you to, what do you consider yourself so far as your grade your grade level is, and uh, the first thing that I would probably say is I consider myself a sophomore. And in case of anybody that may want to know too, that um, that if you do earn enough credit hours, and the school's going to tell you, if you earn enough credit hours and if you earn enough grants, then uh, chances are that that could also change your grade level too. Toward it, that you know, if you earn enough credits from all that, because like uh, everybody else. Uh, like the counselors can probably even say to you know, to those students that uh, you know it's not really about the fact about the makeup that you're wearing or anything like that. You know, it's about the fact about the work that you got. I'm like, yeah, the work that you got to do, right? You, know, the parents could probably even say too that whenever you come to class, you may have felt bad a couple of times because you were about ten or fifteen minutes late getting to class. You know, you were tardy a couple of times, and and maybe if you forgot to turn in a you know, the assignment at one time, or you may have, uh, you know, had, uh, were not able, uh, given the opportunity to redo a form or something. So, so yeah, a lot of your class assignments, if you had to redo something. So, it's like, you know, yeah, a lot of students might even say that uh, whenever you had to redo an assignment. So, yeah, whenever you had to redo an assignment, though, that that can be very aggravating, but like everybody else my, my, uh, my, oh, yeah, an assignment. Whenever you had to redo an assignment, that, uh, that really, though, that, um, and everybody else might even say that, you know, does that really take uh, a little bit more time? Or just to kind of get a better, I'm like, yeah, you know, if the teacher's, the teacher's willing to give you some of those points back, if you're willing to take the time to redo a paper that, uh, you know, yeah, you were supposed to, you know, read the directions and this is how you were supposed to, to do that paper, and uh, so so it's like, yeah, you know, they're, you know, the entry level a lot of time, but still, that uh, between freshman and sophomore right here, and people might say, it's like, talk about the rules, right, but still, but I can, like, whenever you watch the president on TV, you know, even the vice president, you know, talk about you know, what the principal would say, <laughs> but still, it's like, yeah, that uh, whenever it comes to understanding about uh you know, the grade porn average and everything, but it's like, when you know, we're talking about the oldest uh, sister or maybe a friend of yours, and you want to know, too, that um, that uh, the GPA score and also what year you are so far as, uh, you know, what grade you're in. And I know with me, though, that, uh, that it's like, yeah, that uh, whenever it comes to, yeah, when, whenever it comes to, uh, you know, studying, a lot of things, and, uh, you know, a lot of times it sure seems that way, that, you know, that there's something about freshman or sophomore, like anybody else might even say that uh, that you consider yourself a sophomore just because that you have less than 15 years of experience working in that source of study. And uh, a lot of students might say that if they believe that uh, they have less, you know, they have, they may have good, real good confidence, real good knowledge, but then they have less uh, experience. I'm like, uh, but still... But still, a lot of jobs would probably say that, uh, you know, we aren't necessarily looking at all the experience all the time. We're just, you know, if you at least, uh, when, uh, if you do uh, wind up getting a job opportunity, the thing to uh, look out for is toward, yeah, you know, that that's really, you know, between what's optional and what's really highly recommended, but then also what's required. So let's just say that um, whenever you do look into a job opportunity, though, I'm like, I talk about, you know, love and all, but, but, but still, I, whenever you, th when we think about a job opportunity, though, it sure seems that way toward it, um, that the first thing that comes to your mind whenever you do uh, look into a job, put any sorts of requesting for a job, it's like, yeah, do you have anybody that you would like to list as for a reference or anything such as, uh, you know, toward it, yeah, you know, uh, you know, somebody who's your counselor or somebody who's willing to uh, endorse you for a skill or something like that to give you good, give somebody good feedback about your work and everything. So it's like, yeah, you know. So the first thing that you're going to maybe think about whenever you're filling out an application, though, is that you're to try to be honest and, and you're going to maybe say that, you know, you are a sophomore. But if we were to do the calculations, if you apply by the next year, what are you going to say? 
They say that, you know, you said that you were a sophomore last year. You know, why can't you consider yourself a junior and why can't you consider yourself a senior? So it's like, so we all know that uh, whenever you put on a, on a GPA score to where you try to guess what the score is or if anything, that, that there was a few things that you may have forgotten about or anything, you know, anything else that comes up, but still. But it sure seems that way. The, 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 the fact of the matter is that... Um, that, uh, you know, like everybody else would probably say, too, that, uh, you know, you consider yourself a freshman or a sophomore just because that that's how uh, the teachers best know you by. Is as to where the, by the time you start cl taking classes, that there's a lot of things that you don't understand right away. And there's a lot of things that, you know, that you can't get done right away. And that you're going to have, you know, these ups and downs and everything whenever it comes to uh, looking at all the work in progress. And so that's why it sure seems that way. That when we think about that, though, is that, you know, you think about that as to where, the, yeah, you consider yourself a sophomore just because, you know, for that reason. That, you know, you got, like, at your desk there that you have this little uh, image right here. I'm like, yeah, display it. Like, you know, anybody say, you know, any girls, most ladies would say that, um, that yeah, <laughs> you know, the stuff that you like talking about, and half the, but half the time, it's like, yeah, well, what does your ID say? What does your student ID say? You know, if your student, you know, your student ID would say something like, you know, what what grade level that you're at, and what the, what you claim to be, at, you know, as far as if you're a student or if you are a member at like maybe at the at the fitness uh, you know place or something like that. Yeah, if you're doing exercises there at the at the gym or something like that. So it's like, yeah, you know, whenever it comes to doing the studies, though, a lot of young, I'm like, yeah, you know, everybody else might say that they consider themselves. A sophomore, just because that, uh, yeah, I completed, a, you know, only two years. Unless if I complete four more years, I consider myself a sophomore. And uh, I'm like, yeah, a graduate or an undergraduate student. So, and I, and I know a lot of counselors would probably say too that uh, whenever it comes to the universities or the academies or any any colleges or community colleges, that um, that they'll tell you that. Um, that if you completed a four or more years of a college education, then uh, yeah, then and, uh, like I say, that you know, you would be considered a, a junior, you know, you know, or you would be considered a you know, close to you know graduating senior. So, so a lot of times it's like uh, like everybody else might even say too that um, that you know if it's really over the the, the whole scare the whole scale of eyes to where if it's been more. If it has been three years, and you're probably one oh two is to where that yeah, well, freshman and sophomore, and you're probably thinking is to where if it's all about the measure of okay, it's been three years, well, you're still a sophomore just because you know you don't really know what grade level that you're at or anything, but still that, uh, but it sure seems that way that like uh, people might even say too that um, that back whenever you were a sophomore and like everybody else might even one oh two that why do you consider yourself a sophomore, even though that that you know you uh, yeah, Mike, you know, yeah, you know, you would for you know for sure you would probably know if you were a junior or senior for sure. You know, whenever you received your your ID and whenever you come, whenever you received the paperwork about coming towards kind of towards graduation and also qualifications and everything. But still, that um, but I know like or with some things. Uh, Everybody else might even say too. Besides everything, you know, you if you want to say is to where, yeah, you would be qualified for some things, but uh, still. But I know with me though that uh, that whenever it comes to freshman and sophomore, that it's like yeah, you know, I remember my freshman year in high school, and I can remember my into I'm like yeah, especially in college too, and it sure seems that way. That there's a lot more work, you know, there present and than, than what you thought that there was, and it's like you know almost all the time. That if there's a little bit more work or, or you know, a little bit less work than what you expected. And, um, so it's like if you're going to be talking to uh, uh, having uh, you know, the sister, sister to sister talk or you know, having these conversations in 102 about your entry level to word it, uh, the subjects that you really liked. And, uh, you know, I, and I think I mentioned everybody too talk about the sequel. What I mean by that is I'm talking about is that, that there's calculus one and calculus two and and then there's algebra and then there's and I'm like oh yeah there's mathematical courses and there's also English and then there's also uh, I think 
physics or something like that, you know, history, social studies, and, you know, psychology, uh, social work, and, you know, other sorts of studies. And uh, so it's like, yeah, whenever it comes to subjects level one and level two and all that, so it's like, um, so if you're going to be a student taking these classes here, and let's just say that, um, that you know, if you're going to have, uh, you, know, you know, level one and level two and all that, People might even say that you go ahead and sign up to take these classes just because that you have a few friends that want you to, uh, yeah, to, to join the team. Like, yeah, register today, sign up today, you know, so that way you can join. And so it's like, you know, a lot of, all the other students might say too that that's usually what happens. You know, people talk you into sign up for the class just because that, you know, we want you to be a part of the team or, you know, hey, I, you know, the things that you can that you can learn about, you know, about the subject, you know, what they want, what they had to talk about, and, uh, so it's like, yeah, that, uh, you know, like my parents, you know, a lot of times used to say, too, that, you know, just to be like all the other boys, you know, just be like all the other kids, you know, all the other girls, and, and so that's why it sure seems that way that, um, that, uh, whenever it comes to, uh, you know, joining a group or the Boy Scouts or if it's the Girl Scouts or anything like that, but still, that uh, talking about with the sophomore, though, that uh, when we look at the school paperwork a lot of times, it sure seems that way that, that the first question that you might think about is, is to where did, you, did you turn in all the work or a lot of the work that you didn't quite understand during the time? And uh, whenever you look at some of your paperwork, you might notice that there were some, some assignments that you were not able to get in on time, some of them that were in, but then you were not able to finish them. So it's like, yeah, so yeah, so the first question that comes to your mind is to where you check that backpack and you're like one or two is to where the, yeah, well, you know, one way to succeed, you know, especially to the next level, like everybody else would probably say too, is that some of those teachers that would know that you, that you tried and also is that if you're going to have a, an older sister, you know, if you're going to have an older sister or a cousin, that's going to maybe you, you'll be able to talk about some stuff and talk about a lot of things and you know anything that comes to your mind and and you're probably thinking too that is toward it you know why do you consider yourself a freshman well i can well because i can't dance you know I, I, how many people are going to maybe say that you know <laughs> because i don't i you know i can't dance or i uh, i actually uh could not find anything to say anything you know that i was trying to say to that attractive uh you know, to that attractive guy, or that, you know, yeah, somebody, somebody that I met, you know, there at the school, or in the conference meeting, or something like that, and, um, I'm sure we've all been there to where that whenever we meet people, and like, you know, like, yeah, especially during the meetings, and the first thing that they're gonna maybe think is to where that, you know, I don't even know if they're even gonna like what I do, and like, like what I show them, and, uh, so the first thing that you're going to, that's going to come to your mind more likely is to where the, yeah, you want to show somebody something that maybe that has nothing to do with uh, what they were talking about or whichever. And uh, so it's like, yeah, that, um, you know, you go ahead and show somebody the paperwork or, you know, the grade book or something like, but, like that. But still that, um, but talk about right here, a uh, freshman and sophomore. So if this right here was supposed to be like a portrait painting right here. Of what the students looked like, and uh, let's just say that uh, you know, just to be on the collage or any sort of wallpaper or anything like that, and you're probably thinking too is to where that why do you why do you consider yourself a sophomore? Whenever I'm like, yeah, that you know, if you do well on a test, if you do very well on that test, and if you score real good on the quiz, and then of course that's going to take you to the next level. So like everybody else will probably say too that. Um, you know, one of the reasons why people still consider themselves a sophomore just because that uh, maybe that, uh, you know, if you're just quite used to it to where you don't want to move on to the next level just because that, that you know, you know, you, uh, you know, yeah, if you want to, you know, if there's a bond of the situation to where, yeah, if you want to stay close to your friends and if you get to know your teacher very well and, of course, if you're able to, to talk to, to the tutors and, of course, uh, you talk to the faculty and staff if you're able to talk to them. So it's like, so yeah, I'm like, really, if it's really all about um, the fact or matter is that, uh, you know, it's all about doing well in your classes. But still, at the same time, you're probably thinking, too, that, um, that, that, you know, 
really that uh, whenever you do uh, wind up doing very well on that test and if you wind up scoring very well and let's just say that if you're just trying to if you're in that meeting room so that way you can show somebody else how to do something and a lot of times that's usually how that works too is to where that as long as you're able to succeed you know that other person's able to succeed and and so shouldn't that really be about you know how that works and i can go ahead and write down here is to where the, yeah if you show somebody if you uh you know, get you know, if you were to guide somebody, guide someone, uh, yeah, if you were to guide someone um, on how, uh, you know, how to, um, you, know, you, know, you know, how to do, you know, how, you know, how to do, you were know, to teach them. And um, so if you were to teach somebody something, you know, it's a guide or if anything to just give some good advice and, in case of anybody that may want to know too, that uh, you know, you thought that all these agendas that were on your schedule, and uh, you're probably thinking too, is toward that uh, that you know there was one. Uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, one time in the quarter of the year toward that there were three weeks of of that training session, and then within the next three weeks, and then they might tell you something different. That you know you're not a sophomore, you are a junior. So, so it sure seems that way that. Um, that it's like, you know, people may say this to where that uh, one way that you can consider yourself to be falling behind, and if you know if you're falling behind on anything, and just knowing is to where the, yeah, well, one way to look at that is to where if they know at the principal, or, you know, I'm like, yeah, in case if anybody say that, if we were to do the studies about that, knowing that you're trying, and uh, so it's like, yeah, you know, for any reason at all, why you would claim to where that you would be a freshman or a sophomore, it's just because it's toward it. Yeah, well, you know, it sure seems like things are different now than compared to what they were five years ago, wasn't it? Because a lot of things, yeah, the, a lot of the programs have all been updated. You know, a lot of things, that the technology has all changed. So it seems like, you know, that, that does not mean that you have to start over either. You know, like me, by say that if you're going to be a student, you know, okay, you know, you had that subject before, but still, you know. Don't think about that as starting over. Try to think about that as just refreshing, yeah, refreshing your knowledge. And uh, so a lot of times it's like, you know, that's really what it is, everybody. To try to think about that. You know, to uh, real refreshing, uh, refreshing, um, you know, your knowledge. So really that before, I'm like, yeah. In case of anybody that may want to know too, they're working on your bachelor, but talk about refreshing your knowledge. So just because, you know, I'm like, yeah, you know, if you're familiar with this or if you're familiar with that, but still, you know, that does not always mean that you had to start over. It does not always mean that, that you know, you had to redo everything, but still that, uh, you know, just think about that to where that uh, the review of the work and then, uh, you know, to get the best. I'm like, yeah, and a lot of times people might say that, uh, that a lot of the answers that may not match from the last time that you took that test. And uh, so just think about that to where that uh, if you're going to be a student, you know, doing any sorts of studying, though, know, and uh, the first thing that you might think about is, is to where that, uh, yeah, you consider yourself a freshman just because that, uh, you know, uh, whenever it comes to if you've only, uh, if you were only able to, uh, to stay um, and take on classes, if you were only to take classes Maybe for that quarter, that first for that first quarter, and then you go back maybe for another year, but then uh, and then you go back and maybe for an additional two more years. So let's just say if it does take maybe six or maybe uh, close to seven years total, just to know about as to where that uh, you know, what your grade level looks like, and uh, so it's like yeah, it's all about the transfer of the transcripts, and also about any you know information. That needs to be updated, and like anybody say to this, to where that uh, you know, uh, whenever you first, I'm like, yeah, and then I know degree programs and all that have, have, all have their own way of how, how the the source of how that information works and everything. But it sure seems that way that, that whenever we think about school, though, whenever we think about a community college, you know, we more likely say is to where that uh, back when we were younger, that it was all about the 8th grade or the ninth grade or the 10th grade, right? And if you were in the 10th grade, and, you know, maybe if you want to be closer to uh, to a friend of yours or you want to be closer to your older sister or your brother 
or a friend of you. I'm like, yeah, a friend of yours or, you know, uncle's friend. I'm like, oh, yeah, some of your cousin. And so if you want to be close to somebody and and you say that, yo, you are a sophomore, it's just because you might say something like that. You know, to where I didn't think that I was going to do very well on a test. So that's why that I just assume, you know, yeah, that's what my grade's going to be. And I, I'm like, yo, I don't know if I'm going to pass, but still, that uh, what's a good positive Think mind thinking whenever it comes to taking test, and just think about that. To where that whenever you, if you're going to be taking a, a test, and let's just say that, um, you know, if you don't do as well as expected, and I know a lot of teachers might even say too that, uh, you know, you try to, uh, to score a seventy percent on the test, but then, uh, you know, maybe that, that it's possible they might say that, you know, yeah, you scored a sixty one, you know, I'm like, you just barely passed, but. You know, you, you still pass. So it's like, you know, yeah. So teachers might even say that, uh, you know, it's all about, you know, testing your knowledge and everything. But it's like, you know, a lot of those faculties, uh, you know, they'll probably tell you that, uh, you know, you don't really have to do every single thing that we get. You know, like, you know, like anybody say that is to where that some of those teachers might even say that, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, really, if you want to kind of call it a little bit of the funding games and all that, but still that, uh, you know, can teachers really tell their students as to where that um, that uh, what they really are doing is toward typical mind thinking to where for what you are familiar with and what you recognize and anything new that you have not been that you haven't learned before. And so. So, yeah. So you were probably think as to where that you were not able to do everything on the table like you were wanting to do on a table on that table. But still. Yeah, at least if you were able to take care of most of it, and some of those teachers might even ask their students that please redo this because I know you can do a little better than that, you know. And so, so yeah, I I know that uh, some of those teachers too that might even say, especially like on a Sunday afternoon, that uh, you know, would you mind redoing this paper and explain to me what what that is or what, what this is, and uh, so that's why that. Um, it sure seems that way that uh, you know, you want to go ahead and just consider yourself a freshman just because that uh, you know not everybody's going to understand uh, what is it that you are working on and so you might consider yourself uh, a freshman just because that uh, you know whenever you first start taking classes that there was only so much that you knew and maybe you didn't know how to dance or you know, you want to impress the class yeah you, know, you want to impress somebody with about with something. <laughs> So in order to be able to impress them, you think about that to where that yeah, yo, know, if you want to impress anybody, yeah, if you want to impress anybody, you know, like you know, impress a by meaning is to where that uh, be surprised. So if that's like any source of equation, like that, and people might even say that. Uh, yeah, you know, if you want to su surprise somebody, I'm like, well, really, get them a candy bar or, you know, maybe uh, flowers or maybe, uh, you know, I'm like, yeah, in case of anybody say that, you know, does that really mean that you got to com compete against them? Like, oh, yeah, do any sorts of competition. But, uh, you know, still, <laughs> I just really think, too, that um, whenever it comes to studying just a little bit more about, you know, who's uh, good at what and all, but still, that, uh, you know, like everybody probably say too that uh, that really that when we think about the grade level right here, that uh, if you were to mark uh, on it, the grade book is to where that uh, that your GPA score was a two point seven, you know, two point seven or maybe a one point eight or something like that. But let's just say that you know by the time you actually get the official transcript, and they'll tell you that. Uh, no, yo, know, you were an A minus. Yo, know, your your grade was an A minus. So I know a lot of students might even say that they're not very happy about that. You know, with A minus. You know, you're probably thinking too, A minus. Well, really, that um, you say A minus right there, but you know, still, that um, half the time you want to know too that. Uh, you know, A as an apple or something like that. But people might even say too that uh, you know, really that uh, if you if it says minus right there, what does that necessarily mean? Is that you know maybe your grade 
wasn't overall as perfect as what you expected, but you know, still that uh, I guess uh, like you would say that whenever the teachers grade your work, and then it's like, yeah, that they'll sometimes that they'll give you a smiley face, and then they'll even uh, write a review on air, you know, stating you know something like, yeah, well, you know, you could have put a little bit more work into it, but I you know, at least you tried, you know, yeah, well, you know, yeah, anything that approaches the students' ideas too, so. So any you know, any of your peers, any of your classmates that are going to be looking at your work, and at the first I'm like, yeah, in case of anybody that may want to know too, if you have an older sister or brother who are going to be classmates, you know, sisters and brothers who are classmates, and, uh, you know, you're probably thinking too, is to word it, yeah, you know, uh, six weeks of after working on your work, doing your work, and, and you're probably thinking too, is that... Um, that, that, you know, the first question that you're going to maybe think about is this tour. That, uh, do you think that the teacher likes you, uh, likes you more than, than, you know, than they like me or something? So, so yeah, you know, that somebody's going to maybe ask that question to her that, uh, for which students that they liked, you know, the most. And it seems like most of the time it was the ones who were interactive and the ones who studied more. The ones who, uh, the ones who came to class you know, every day, you know, on time, and so it sure seems like that way that that was, that's really the honest answer to where that uh, some students might even say that, uh, you know, whenever you first start taking classes, that you were really, you were trying to show somebody how to to do something, and that you'll participate in any activities, right, but then whenever it comes to, uh, you know, they want to go ahead and try to take over, and show you something that you already know, and <laughs> so yeah, you know, uh, the game rules about that, and like everybody else would probably say too, that that's whenever you take turns, yeah, that's whenever you take turns, you know, to explain, and um, you know, any parents might even say that, you know, yeah, take up, uh, take turns, take turns, um, yeah, take turns, and also wait your turn, <laughs> Yeah, wait your turn. Wait your turn. And also put on here that, uh, you know, just knowing that, that you know, you, uh, you know, yeah, talk about for intera interactions. Interactions that, um, you know, what, what, what do we, you know, what does anybody really have to say about that? When it comes to interactions, it says to where there's something... Something, um, yeah, that gives, um, yeah, it gives everybody good courage. And I can go in, yeah, courage, yeah, I think I, I said that before, yeah, good, your know, courage, um, I'm like, I'm trying to say courage, but, you know, yeah, you know, I usually say knowledge. I usually say knowledge, but, uh, you know, knowledge, but still, that, um, you know, talk about bonding also. You know, another one, I'm like, yeah, bond. And um, so, like, anybody also probably say, too, that, um, that whenever it comes to, uh, you know, the things that you learn about and then at 102 is that, you know, yeah, whenever you consider yourself, a beginner or experienced or, you know, yeah, that, uh, but half the time, it's like, uh, you want to know too, is to word it whenever it comes to talking to the older sister or talking to somebody, and, you know, you're probably thinking too, is to word it a lot of things that maybe that they know about, you know, that maybe that, that, you know, yeah, you know, really, what can they really learn from, from me? I'm like, well, what can they, what can that person learn from me, knowing that uh, they they might already know that, but uh, still. But at the same time, it's like, uh, you know, really that uh, the whole process of the matter, I guess, will be is this toward that uh, you, know, how do you consider yourself to be uh, a good uh, a good intelligent you know thinker and like to word that you know, six weeks of after you worked, after you got to know somebody and like everybody else would probably say too that. Uh, you know, talking about for homework, you know, talk about for home is to word it, yeah, that, uh, you know, um, home, that uh, that people give you some good advice about how to solve a problem and all that, and uh, you're probably thinking too that, uh, 
that, you know, even though that uh, whenever you first met this person, that, uh, you know, it's possible that um, any ideas that you think about, but a lot of times it sure seems that way to word it. Uh, in, in order to be able to, uh, for the process to be, in order to be able to improve the process and everything, it sure seems that way to where, yeah, trying to, Try to work together and trying to think of the best solution to be able to take care of a situation, right? But at the time, it sure seems that way that um, that whenever you have a, if you're going to be talking to an older brother or an older sister or somebody that you're close to, and uh, you want to know too is to word at the oldest. A lot of times, seems like that the, they want to act like uh, you know, like yeah, you know, they want to you know, be like the boss and maybe thinking that they can. <laughs> You know, but you know that they, they think that um that they could that they deserve more that they you know like yeah you know between the special treatment and the more attention or anything like that you know the bigger paid allowance or anything like that you know the raising a salary or anything like that you know the special award, but it sure seems that way to where if you were to teach somebody how to uh, play a game and a lot of times it's like yeah number of times that they beat you on a game you know if you wind up losing the game <laughs> and everybody else will probably say too that you know especially whenever you lose a game or whenever you lose your turn and then it's like you know that's whenever that that's uh, that's pretty aggravating there <laughs> but still it, it's like yeah it's just knowing about that you know good confidence is to where yeah you know um one thing i did want to talk about too is talk about that you know whenever you know how do you handle um How do you handle when uh, when you do lose? You know, when, whenever you do lose, and compared to um, compared to when you win. So, if you were to win a game, and let's just say if you were to win a competition, you know that's something that we can also uh, think about too. Is to whenever you do, uh, whenever you lose. I'm like, yeah, compared to when you lose, and then, of course, whenever you win. And, uh, like, everybody are thinking, too, is toward it. Uh, you know, do you learn anything? I'm like, yeah, do you learn anything when you win? Do you learn anything whenever you lose? And, uh, like, well, I know people are not very happy whenever you do lose, and that uh, whenever you don't get that perfect score. And uh, so that that's really something to think about, too, is toward that by each time you lose, do you consider yourself... A lower level sophomore, or you just consider yourself as to where the hey, you know, you you did the best you could, and uh, knowing that uh, that if you think as to where that even though if you practiced enough and half the time, you probably thinking to where that yeah, well if you're, you know, you got a sister or a cousin who did very well on the exam, but then you didn't do so well on the exam, so. So it sure seems that way that you know do we is it really all about the measure about. That each one of us would have our experience with losing or with, uh, you know, yeah, with uh, failing a test or with not doing so very well on an exam or something like that. So are we really going to talk about the stories as to word it, you know, from how we handle those situations? And uh, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that, um, that first of all, it's like, uh, you know, yeah, well, really, that they want to think about is as to word it, uh, if it's really about the fun and games, but then also just testing to review to word that, uh, you know, the next time, you know, you may pass the test with a different score this next time. Or if anything, I'm like a, for what you call the typical math study also. But, um, but anyway, those are the things that I want to talk about. In the, but uh, still, that uh, talk about for between freshman and sophomore and anybody say you look at your student ID in 102 that... Uh, that, yeah, that, is that supposed to be me right there? <laughs> and I want to know, yeah, I'm like, yeah, if you were to take a picture in 102, yeah, the cartoon character, I'm like, you know, could you possibly use a cartoon character as, like, any source of uh, of ID of uh, some sort? But anyway, uh, your cartoon character is, like, maybe for the grade book is to word it. Yeah, this is, this, this is what you look like, you know, six weeks earlier. And compared to when, whenever you took, when after you took that test, after you took the test, this is what you look like. <laughs> and like I say too, that yeah, well, you know, before you took the test, that you actually bra you braided your hair back. You know, it was like a good luck charm. You know, you had that. You know, you had your your you know, you had your special you know, your special pencil and your special 
your keep key notepad and also you had your special tablet with you so that way give you some good luck you know and uh, doing very well on the test you know but anyway um I'm going to talk about for the understanding about the freshman and sophomore, but like people might say too, that, uh, you know, if you were to consider yourself as a sophomore, though, it's like, you know, really, do you just kind of look at just a little bit of the opposite just because that, you know, really, how are you going to be able to remember and how are you going to be able to, you know, tell each other apart? And like everybody else will probably say too, that during your freshman and sophomore year, that, uh, you know, first thing you're probably thinking is toward it, what you're qualified for. And, and uh, you know, yeah, but, uh, but you know, still, on the other hand, that, that you know, undergraduate students, and I'll even put on here, talk about for that the graduate student, you know, the graduate student, the graduate student uh, compared to the the undergraduate student. Well, what 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 is that? What does that mean right there? That pretty much means I, it's another way of how I'm like yeah you know under you know undergraduate student. It's another way of stating is to word that uh, you know if you've uh, completed uh, three or four more or more years of a college education and also what university I'm like yeah it's also with uh, maybe the internships also uh, I think a lot of it has to do with the internships and also the 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 transfer credits and also you know the transfer credits and. And uh, you know, but uh, but I I just really think most of the time it's a uh, it's uh, it's all about is toward that um, that if you uh, you know, so many years of a college education about that you know yeah how many credits and also that uh, you know if you were to be going to one of those colleges and you know like yeah some of those schools are community colleges also and I'll say that you know if you completed three or more years of a college education and then uh, you know you would. Um, Consider yourself, I'm like, yeah, yo, you are, like I say, that, uh, you know, for how it all works and all that, but still, according to my studies, like anybody say too, that if we're talking about maybe seven, seven years of a college education, and you're probably thinking as to where to, yo, yeah, there's some, there's some graduate level there too, and some un undergraduate level, but anyway, uh, but talk about studies about the, you know, about the, you know, about the study, you know, but uh, anyway, uh, but you have right there, talk about for sisters and you know, freshmen, sophomore. And thanks for watching, everybody, and by the top about that with the grade right here, but uh, in case of anybody that may want to know, too, that, um, that, yeah, with the grade, that, um, that whenever you uh, think about that is to word it that the first thing somebody's going to maybe say is to where are you going to be back for the sequel, such as, you know, chapter two or part two or part three of that subject. You know, if you like to calculus or chemistry whenever you were studying, I say that, are you going to be back for the sequel? <laughs> and you're probably thinking as to where do you come across a lot of those subjects that you thought that were very complicated. And you're probably thinking too that, uh, you know, you know, I think, uh, first of all, that uh, people might even say that, uh, you know, if people uh, know, if they're well, I'm like, yeah, a lot of times it's like if people really just want, you know, want you to participate, you know, they want you to, to take this class just because that, that, that there is something about your work that uh, that they miss. You know, it sure, sure seems that way that, uh, you know, anything that's needed, any, I'm like, yeah, anything such as maybe a midterm or something like that that is missed or anything such as is toward that, you know, yeah, that, uh you know, any source of a contract, I'm like, oh, yeah, a contract or something like that, and um, anything that's required, especially, but that it, uh, I thought I'd mention that, but, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, talk about that, but, uh, you know, anyway, uh, in case if anybody say this toward, yeah, well, you know, freshman, sophomore, you know, they say there's going to be a sequel, and of course there's going to be what you call the part one, part two, but still, in case if anybody say, as long as you're, as long as you, as long as you succeed to the next steps, and like anybody say, really, should it really be about succeeding, you know, try to concentrate on doing well and succeeding, you know, despite about, you might think as to where whenever you first start joining that group, or which, you know, like, yeah, yeah, you, know, you may have agreed to where that you were only going to do the work for six weeks, but, uh, by half the time, it sure seems that way that, um, like the first thing that comes to your mind, though, is that to where whenever the sequel you know, is announced, and I say that, yeah, well, you know, people are wanting you to do a little bit more work, you know, there, and they say if they like what you do, and 
uh, teachers or all them staff of the faculty, if they like what you were doing there in the classroom, and they might tell you that, that you know, if they like what they see, according to what your your portfolio represents, and, and say from the sophomore year, and of course from your junior year, and they'll tell you that, um, you know, hey, we'd like to see you back, and um, so that's why it's like, you know, yeah, you know, somebody's going to maybe ask too that, uh, you know, you didn't like it at first, you know, can you explain why? Well, it was, there was a lot of challenges, and it seems like that that subject re required a lot more than what I can give it, and that, uh, like a said before is toward that we are, if we all believe that we put a lot more mind thinking into something what other people may well like to realize but but at the same time it's like yeah well you know just the show is toward that you know did a little bit more work than what they thought but you know but still just knowing that you tried right but on the other hand that um it's like um you know people might say is toward that whenever you were first uh, introduced to this skill and you may not like it at first, and uh, so that's why it's like, yeah, you know, you think about that, and why not too that you know, you're just gonna go ahead and just focus on what's really required, you know, what's what's required in order to graduate, you know, be able to, to succeed, you know. But anyway, uh, but uh, all to you know to do very well. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.